Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your first option up here where it's going to say your device's name, maybe your name. And from there, just make a backup using iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, go ahead, hook it up to your computer and use iTunes on PC in order to make that backup or find there on Mac. Also, if you're having any problems with this update, you can also update it throughout your computer. Anyways, right now, once we're done that, let's just go right down into general. After general, you're going to see the second option here where it says software update. Tap on it. And then from here, we should see the latest one, which is only 96 megabytes. So yes, this will be a very fast update. It will not take you more than 10 minutes in total. Now it's okay if not everybody sees downloading install, you might just see install. It just downloaded everything. That just depends on the settings that you have at the moment. Anyways, right now we're just gonna tap on downloading install. It's gonna ask us for our passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's gonna start downloading. Now, if your iPad turns off for any reason during the download process, it's no big deal. However, it is when it's installing because that's when we have to restore the whole iPad if it randomly turns off. So I highly suggest no matter how much battery life you have at the moment, just hook it up to some electricity and let it do its download. At this point in time, you could just leave your iPad alone. It's going to install the update by itself as long as you have it hooked up some electricity. The download process for most of you, it's not going to take more than just a few minutes, if not seconds. However, with older iPads, it can take a little bit longer than that. The installation time is also going to take about three to five minutes maximum. So you are looking at a total of 10 minutes. So after a few minutes, you're going to see that it just says install now. You can go ahead and just tap on install now. Or like I mentioned before, if you just let your iPad be, it would just install by itself. As long as it's hooked up to some electricity, so it's charging up. Once you do that, it's just going to verify the update. Then we're going to see an Apple logo and a loading bar and a restart. Like mentioned, you will see an Apple logo and a loading bar just like this. And then it's going to turn off, turn on again. We're going to see another Apple logo and loading bar. This time it's going to run a lot faster. At this point, it should be three to five minutes more into the update. And right after that, it's just going to ask us for our passcode to get back in. And here we are. We are done. You can go right into settings and check out if everything went okay. It should tell you the software's up to date. However, we can always go into software update again and check out if we are in fact up to date. And it is. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.